As Israel's latest bombing of Gaza in Operation Protective Edge reached its fifth day, other communities gathered together to protest, including in Swansea, South Wales. Basically, uh, a few days ago, Israel started bombing Gaza, which is not something new. They do it regularly. And unfortunately, they break so many laws, so many international human laws, and no one punishes Israel. And a few days ago, the US said that um, Israel's just defending themselves. And unfortunately, BBC hasn't even stood with the Palestinians. They just they, they said that Israel's defending themselves. I don't see any defense since it started. Not a single Israeli child has been killed, but so many, so many uh, Palestinian children have been killed. I asked whether this was the promised retaliation for the deaths of Israeli teenagers recently presumably yes but it hasn't been confirmed that it was Palestinian who killed them in the first place free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Gaza. 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 and another young woman spoke of her upsetting experience as a Palestinian returning home I've been born in Palestine I've been raised half of my life in Palestine and then I moved here I've been a couple times back last time I went with by family but before that I went alone and they treated me on the plane and on in the airport like a terrorist they got me to take my hijab they got me to check everywhere they just touched me everywhere and I'm just like you have no right to do that if you get to do that to me you gotta do it to everybody in the airport because this is not right for me to be treated like a terrorist I'm not a terrorist I'm just a normal Palestinian girl I've made friends on an airplane with Jews. We, we told, we, they agree with how the stuff that's going on. Like, it's not right. Just killing random children passing by. Last time I checked, three, four-year-olds are not terrorists. That's updating what's happening in Gaza Strip.